Hello and welcome back to the channel, our mobile music army. I am your host Vortex from mobilemusicpro.com, your home for mobile music production. And we hope everybody is staying safe out there and washing their hands and trying not to go too stir crazy. Now we know there is a lot of folks out there that are financially hurting in these tough times. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you all how to find 100% completely free apps or at the very least heavily discounted apps. And a big shout out to WeSampleEverything.com because we were actually already planning on doing this video. But then on their podcast, they actually mentioned another website that we've never even heard about before. So thanks so much, guys. We're adding that to today's video. And also a big shout out to Marcus DeFingas. I see I already released a very similar video to this one showcasing some of the websites that was featured in that podcast. There really is just so many podcasts out there, folks. So make sure you check out our video on the top 10 best YouTube channels for mobile music production. Check out some of those channels, buy some of their sample packs, buy some of their presets, and give them a shout out. Because in these tough times, we really need to support producers and small businesses as much as possible. So make sure to check out the link to that video in the description below. All right, now with that intro aside, let's get into some of the best ways to find 100% free or heavily discounted apps and plugins. All right, the first site we're going to be talking about today is synthifrog.com. Uh, founded in 2017, synthifrog.com provides information about apps for musicians, including app discounts and app updates. Now, this website may have a funny name, folks, but trust me, this is an awesome website and really, really useful for finding and drilling down to apps that you really want. So we have the website pulled up here, and as you can see right away, we have the ability to, at the top menu, browse the different categories of apps. So that means host DAWs, controllers, effects by type, apps by technology, and then to the right of that, we can even browse by specific devices. And beyond that, we have the news dropdown, which will show the latest news for all of these different apps, which mostly involves just the various updates for each app. Now, what I want to talk about here is the browse section over here on the right hand side of the screen. We can see that again, we can browse all the way and drill into these different technologies like audio unit, audio bus, interrupt audio, and so forth, as well as the different types, including host, instrument, effect, controller, and tool. And then you can go even to the instrument type, which if you want a sampler or a synth, you can choose that here. And then even into the instrument sounds, including keyboards, guitar, bass, piano, strings, and more. As well as the effect type here, which we can choose from equalizer, compressor, distortion, vocoder, and more. But of course, the most interesting property here to browse by is the price. So if we click on that, it'll bring down an additional menu where we can actually choose from and to. So what we'll do is, of course, we'll just choose from, click on that, and we'll type in zero and we'll go to two and we'll type in zero. And from there we can click show and it'll even show us the number of apps that comes up with right away, which was 278, it'll show on that little menu there. But once clicked, it will then show up here in your search results as 278 apps that are currently free. So from here, you can just go on down and keep on browsing and browsing through the various pages of apps, or you can drill down further by going back up to the top and drilling down your search results with the options on the right-hand side. You'll also notice some of these tags appear at the top right underneath the title, which is released, app name, author name, rating, price dropped, and price. These tags allow you to browse apps that are specifically marked with this tag. So if we just click on the price dropped tag, we can see that it will now sort our search results of apps by apps that have been recently discounted. And that is highlighted here under the price section where you can see that it was $20 and today it is free. We can scroll down and show another app and show that as well. It was This app here was $12.99 and now it's free. But again, this is showing us all of the free apps because we currently have our search marked from zero to zero in our price range. So if we were to reset this here, It'll take us back to the home page where it's going to show us all of the apps here, the total 1,000 plus apps, and it'll have our tags here where we can further drill down our results. So as you can see, we currently still have price dropped selected. So it's going to show us all of the different apps that have recently marked down their price. You can also click on these other tabs here to drill down further as well. So if you'd like to see all the apps that have recently been updated, we can click on the updated tag. And just the same, we can sort by released, app name, author name, rating, price dropped, or price. 
So this site ends up being very, very handy for those of us that are looking to really browse apps by specific categories or just recently updated or even for free. So the next time you guys are looking for free apps, make sure to check out this website, synthefrog.com, to see which apps are either completely free or have recently had their price dropped. And the second website we'll be talking about today is AppSlice.co. AppSliced is the best place to discover apps and browse app sales. AppSliced users receive personalized app recommendations tailored to each user's individual tastes and preferences. So we do have the AppSliced.co website pulled up here. And as you can see right away, we get the most popular app sales that are happening right now, right on the front page. But then if we go up, we can see where the real magic happens is when we click on Shop Apps at the top. Once we click Shop Apps, we now have all of the different categories and browsing abilities available to us. So we can just do a quick search as we could on Synthifrog by clicking on the search, which will bring up the box there at the top right hand corner. But the first option in the menu will be the price drops section. So if we click on the price drop section, we can see we're immediately brought to all the latest apps that have a price drop. So from here, we can begin drilling down the different categories that we'd like to browse by, by looking at the different filters here. Similar to Synthifrog, you can see that we can choose the different device, such as the iPhone or the iPad, and the different categories. So if we click on the free and paid link, you can see that we can choose either free and paid, or just free, or just paid. So if we click on the just free, we can see that it will just show us all the apps that are 100% free right now. So in our case, if we're looking, for example, for free music apps, we would click on the category of all genre, and we will check on music. And now we can see all the latest free apps that will come up. But also remember, this is just in the last 72 hours as well in the time frame. So if we click on the time frame, we can click on all time. And that's usually what I do. So we'll click on go after that to refresh those results. And now we can see that there is a bunch, bunch more. So the final feature I want to talk about this website today is the ability to set an alert. So right now we are browsing the number one paid music apps. And as you can see, we have a few on here like Glitchcore, Beatmaker 3, and Cubasis. So what we'll do is we'll click on Glitchcore, which is one of the newest apps. And we can see down here we have this a button that says set alert right here. So we have a couple of different options on how we can set this alert. So if we tap on the 199 or less, we can click and see that we can choose to set this alert when this app becomes either free, a dollar, or 199 or less. So for example, if we set this to free and then click set alert, what will happen is that now AppSliced will send us an email as soon as this app is made available for free. And to modify and or browse all of your different alerts, you can click on your profile icon at the top, once you've signed up and created an account, of course, and then you can click on My Alerts. And there is the Glitchcore app that we just set an alert for. As you can see, it says free, so we can actually change this anytime we want. Right now, we have it alerting us to whenever this app becomes made available for free, but we can again change that to either 99 cents or less or $1.99 or less, and then update our alert. As you can see, AppSliced.co went with a little bit more of the social media-esque type of user interface and experience, so you can actually follow people on here as well. So we don't use so much of the actual social media aspect of this website. We use it more for just finding free or discounted apps, and again, have some of those alerts set. So all in all so far, Synthifrog.com and AppSliced.co seem to be great resources to be able to find either completely free or discounted apps. All right, and the final way that we'll be discussing on how to find free or discounted apps will be actually using the App Store itself. This is, of course, the more classic way to search for free apps and is how we first started searching for free apps. So as you can see here, we have the App Store pulled up and we are on the Today page, which is the default page that the App Store brings you to. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the search and this is actually kind of a key concept here because there's a bunch of different types of actual music apps, right? But if you're a producer, you're looking for music production apps. So what we want to type in here is AUV3. And what this will do is this will actually make sure and ensure that we search only for music production apps. So if we hit the search, that'll show us all the different AUV3 apps. But if we click on the filters at the top left hand corner here, this is where we actually can begin to browse and dig in deeper. If we click on the filters, we can go to the price and from here, we can actually choose free. So now, if we click on free, you can see that the App Store will bring us all the AUV3 or music production apps that are currently free. 
again, if you don't type in AUV3, you may get, just like the other website showed, a bunch of different free music apps that aren't necessarily meant for music production. And there are a few other options up here in the filter menu. We can even choose, for example, a category, and we can go to music. But again, if we just went to the music category and didn't type in AUV3, we would get all sorts of things like Spotify and other music listening apps. But now that we've typed in AUV3, we can see we get all of these amazing apps such as Rough Rider 3, Tape Cassette, Crunch, Arpelio. How, how, how do we pronounce that? Apparillo? I think that's better. Apparillo. PSA Junior, which of course is a new one here from Nimbrini Audio. It just recently was actually marked free. But if we just keep scrolling, we have so many, so many to choose from, guys. There's just so many. The list never ends. It's pretty much infinite. So make sure you check that out. Search for AUV3, then go to your filters, go to price, and click on free. All right, thanks again so much, folks, for joining us again today. We really hope you enjoyed that video and are now able to find yourself a bunch of free apps. We definitely use these sites all the time here at mobilemusicpro.com, so again, we highly recommend them. And I'm sure we're just like you folks out there where we always have at least a couple apps in mind that we're waiting for to go on discount. And again, we know it's tough times right now and it's probably not going to let up for a little while longer, but we really, really hope that these videos can help you out in some small way. As always, we have a lot more in store for you guys, so make sure that you stay tuned and are subscribed to the channel. And of course, smash the likes if you're enjoying this content. We really hope everybody's staying safe out there. So until next time, folks, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.